Prowl Roof. This lesson will focus on how to create a prowl roof in SoftPlan. To begin, right click the drawing screen and select Wall. In the Wall Type menu, select the 2x6 siding wall and click OK. Sketch the rough outline of the building to add the siding walls. Edit the dimension of the rear wall and enter a new dimension of 40 feet left. Next, edit the dimension of the vertical wall and enter a new dimension of 30 feet down. Select Tools, Construction Point, and click to set a construction point to the left of the building. The construction point should be roughly aligned with the center of the left exterior wall. Erase the dimension line and use the Adjust Item command to extend the existing horizontal extension lines. Next, select Dimension, Dimension Point. Press the F11 keyboard key to enable the Snap feature and then click the construction point. Draw a line to the left exterior wall and click again. The distance between the construction point and the wall is added to the plan. Use the Dimension Point tool to add the distances between the construction point and each of the horizontal extension lines. Edit the dimension between the construction point and the front left corner of the plan. Enter a new dimension of 15 feet up. Next, edit the dimension between the point and the center of the left exterior wall. Enter a new dimension of 8 feet left. Open the Beam Type menu and select the 4x8 wood beam from the list. With Snap enabled, click the construction point. Press the F12 keyboard key until the cursor is fully unlocked and then draw a line from the construction point to the rear left corner of the building. Click the brick wall to add the beam. Repeat this process to add a wood beam from the construction point to the front left corner of the wall. Select the 3D Shaded tab to inspect the appearance of the model thus far. Return to the floor plan and switch into Roof Mode. Open the Roof Options menu and enter a new default pitch of 9 inches and an overhang of 15 inches. Click OK. The roof can now be added using the Auto Roof tool. Once the roof has been added, select Edit, Edit Item, and click one of the roof edges that form the prow. In the Roof Edge menu, change the roof plane from Hip to Gable. Repeat this step to apply a gable style to the other prow roof edge as well. Finally, right-click the right roof edge and select Apply Gable. Return to the 3D model to see the changes. As can be seen, a few final actions must be performed to complete the roof design. Begin by right-clicking one of the prow roof edges and selecting Edit. In the Roof Edge menu, remove the check mark from the Gable in Provided by Roof box and click OK. This action removes the siding gable end material from the roof plan and 3D model. Repeat this step for the other roof edge. Next, edit the siding wall and select the Fit to Roof button. This will extend the siding wall material to fit the top of the wall to the roof line. Lastly, edit one of the wood beams and select the Common tab. Turn off the Extract in Model option and click OK. Use Repeat Edit on the other wood beam. Review the appearance of the prow roof in 2D and 3D.